All right, everyone, again, as before, I am a little bit gunked up. I actually am remaking this video. There were too many pauses in it to, like, clear my throat and hack up a lunger. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. These are five YouTube channels you should subscribe to. Now, if, disclaimer first, uh, because of deplatforming and stuff, I am not officially endorsing these channels. Endorsement implies I, I agree with all their, like, political views. Like, like, if you endorse someone at this point, for the purposes of the TOS of some of these sites, it means that you support everything a person has ever said or done, and it's really Really, really weird and suddenly you become responsible for their actions so this isn't an endorsement these are channels I subscribe to and you should check them out that's all I'm saying number one would be Ramsey Paul now Ramsey Paul uh, and he is a nationalist so you know again patreon aside um, I find his content interesting I've been a subscriber of his I think since like 2015 um, I'm pretty sure I had found him along with a bunch of other individuals that I now follow uh, in the context of the last election, uh, which is that he was doing commentary, I was doing commentary, and in the course of researching for doing my own topics, I found a bunch of other people whose content I enjoyed. Now, he used to do standalone format. He does that now, but less. He does more of his live show, uh, and he has a co-host and stuff. And interesting aside here, actually, I considered him uh, as, as a, a high-tier possibility for co-host when I was planning to do a live show uh, in the wake of the election. I'm like, well, uh, you know, that'd be cool. I could do it maybe bi-weekly or something, but that fell through because I realized that I'd rather do things off schedule. Like, I like to, to do my schedule each and every day, so he covers mainly political and current events topics. Um, he, he really likes Hungary, <laughs> which, which makes sense <clears throat> in the context of their current political situation. Uh, spends a lot of time in Budapest, actually, I believe. Uh, and so he's quite an interesting character. You should check him out. Number two would be Elizabeth's Philosophy, who, by the way, I think is like two or three subscribers away from 10K at the moment, which is ironic. Uh, does cooking, um, which is more relaxing content. And then philosophy without the political angle usually involved. And that's really what sets it apart. There, there are plenty of people who discuss philosophical topics. I do myself sometimes, but it's usually with a political bent. Uh, here you can get that without the political bent, which I find interesting. Uh, there's some other various content there as well. And, and, and again one of those users that doesn't delve into like the more bitter side of philosophical and political issues like the debate and the blood sports is, is something to be said for that I like them don't get me wrong but then there's another side of content creation that doesn't engage in that just basically says fuck it and I'm sort of I sort of lean towards that at this point myself uh, so you should check her channel out too number three would be Gary Larrabee and Gary Larrabee is a very religious Christian uh, so some people would be like, well, why are you subscribed to him? Well, I'm also subscribed to Paul Begley, which is how I found Gary Larrabee, I believe, uh, through a common thread. Uh, his content is very interesting. He uploads a huge number of videos per day. Like, if you think four a day that I do is, you know, quite a bit, he, some days he does a dozen. Uh, and what he does is he reads out news topics, uh, summarizes articles. Uh, Mary Greeley does this as well, I, although I, I think I unsubscribed fr from her a while ago because I was getting flooded. I, I unsubscribed from about half the channels I was subbed to like last year. Uh, and Gary Larrabee's content also includes uh, sometimes long-form video uh, where he's actually he's either reading from books, uh, which vary in their interest rate, I suppose, for me, uh, but also he takes calls from other people uh, who talk about topics as well, uh, and he sort of platforms them. Interesting content. Uh, again, if he makes a huge amount of material, so you can sort of go through and pick and choose what you want to see. Number four would be Animator Man. Now, this is part of the log posting movement. What's log posting? Just Google Andy Six Logs and you'll, you'll find out. It's a meme. Uh, it's the meme that is reviving the random page on 4chan after years and years of it falling into basically being nothing more than a pit of porn. Uh, what, for those of you who are not part of 4chan culture, you could call it or whatever. For those of you who just joined yesterday, your new friends or whatever. Uh, B used to be sort of the happening thing on the website, but then eventually got supplanted by the politically incorrect uh, page. Specifically because B got overrun by porn uh, and nothing else now really exists there other than Andy Six pooping on things. And I find that hilarious. And it's like, <laughs> it's sort of like Dolan. Uh, you're either going to love it or hate it. Just check it out. Um, the, the shit baby spiel on there is quite funny, but it is, it's, uh, I find it funny. I think it's hilarious. And then number five would be Bats in the Barbell, actually. Now, Bats in the Barbell does skits mainly. Uh, vaguely political, sometimes in nature, but not always, sometimes religious in nature. 
disclaimer, it might be triggering to some people based on the language used, but, you know, who cares? Uh, I find edgy humor to be funny. A lot of people are like, like, they have a problem with you if you find this sort of thing amusing. Oh my god, this person used a slur. Oh my god, they said fuck or something. Oh my god, they're playing as a dead person. Who cares? It's still funny. Uh, and it's uh, it's also relatively well written, which is something you don't get on a lot of the smaller, maybe, content creators' channels that do skits and stuff like that. Sometimes it's kind of gawky. These ones, I, I don't know, it must edit them herself quite extensively, actually. Like, like you just use a script or something. I don't know. I find it funny. Uh, it, it's quite interesting. Some of it's thought-provoking, and some of it's just sort of out there and really weird random humor. I find both of those to be exciting. Uh, so those are five channels that you should definitely consider subscribing to. Uh, again, officially not an endorsement of their their beliefs, their, what they say or do. Uh, you've, you've, for some you know, stupid reason, you have to make that clear these days. Uh, but yeah, you should check these individuals out. That's about all. Peace out.